Hey there fellow musicians, Steve here. Today I'm doing a tutorial on the Zoom MRT3 drum machine. This little guy right here. This drum machine has been a workhorse for me. I've owned it for years. I use it for recording purposes and in live situations. Um, I have a duo called Sandalfoot, me on bass, my buddy Dave on guitar. And this is our backup drummer for the night. So if you're a solo act or if you're a duo and you like some drums behind you, this might be the way to go. If you'd like to use it for recordings, it also might be the way to go for you. At the very end of the video, I'm going to put some uh, sound clips of some recordings I've done with it, so you get to hear what it sounds like. In the description box below, I'm going to put some links to Sandalfoot, so you get to see how we use it. And let's get to the tutorial right now. If you have your manual with you, I suggest you uh, refer to it as you're watching the video. Um, You'll wrap your head around it real quick. It's not that complicated. If you find a couple of pot spots that are tricky, just rewind and uh, look at it again, and I promise you will get it. But let's get to the tutorial right now. Here we go. Before I show you how to use the drum machine, I want to show you what's inside of it. These are all the choice of drum kits that we have. These aren't drum patterns. These are drum kits. As you can see, there's a a live rock kit, a funk kit, a rap kit, and there are 50 different choices. And then you also have the ability to create 19 of your own kits. Customize your kits. Now these are all the different drum sounds you can get. All right, There's uh, 22 different kicks. There are 28 different snares. There are all the, the toms. You have a choice of 42 different toms. The hi-hats, cymbals, extras, global. So you have a lot of different drum sounds that you could use. Now over here, it comes with four different banks of, of patterns. Okay, so what we're looking at now is the A bank. Now the A bank has 99 different patterns in it. These are all preset patterns. Okay, now here's the B bank. Again, 99 different patterns. R&B, blue, shuffle, jazz, funk. And turn the page, and here's the C bank. Hip hop, industrial, reggae, Latin. Again, in the C bank, there's 99 preset patterns. And now here's the D bank. The D bank has intros and drum fills. Okay. And after the D bank, there's a user bank where you could create 99 patterns. Now let's get to using the drum machine. I'm going to show you how to start off using the drum machine by using it in its simplest form. To use it in the simplest way, you could just use preset drum patterns. Okay, now the drum machine comes with four different banks of preset drum patterns. I'd be here all day if I showed you all the drum patterns, but I'm going to show you the banks. Okay, now here we're in Bank A, these are all presets. There's 99 patterns in Bank A. I'm going to click Function, Plus. Now I'm in the B Bank. There's 99 patterns in here. Function, Plus, C Bank, 99 patterns. Function, D Bank, 99 patterns. Function, now we're in the User Bank and you could create 99 patterns. Okay. So that's, if you're just looking for a loop to play your guitar to, or, you know, you're looking for some hip-hop beats to rap over, this is its simplest form. I'll let you listen to a couple. I'm not going to go through all of them, because we'll be here all day, but here's a few. I'll move to the B bank. I'm just picking all these at random. I'll 
move to the C bank. bank these are all fills in the D bank okay and then we're back to the user bank so in its simplest form you could just use preset patterns now let me move on and show you how to record your own patterns and create your own songs now I'm going to show you how to create your own drum patterns, your own kits, and your own songs. To do that, you have to be in the user section. Right now we're in the preset pattern section. We're in the preset A section. So we want to get to the user section. We're going to go function plus B section. Function plus, we're in the C section. Function plus, we're in the D section. Function plus, now we're in the user section. You'll see user pattern 1. I already created a pattern there, so I'm going to keep scrolling up until I see the letter E. That'll indicate that the pattern is empty. I'm going to go a little further to 30. So this is an empty pattern. We're going to create a pattern here. First, I'm going to choose a, a, a drum kit. So I'm going to click the kit button right there. And let me show you this real quick. When you're in the kit section and you see 1P, that's a preset. That's a preset drum kit. There are 50 preset kits that you could choose from. So you could use any one of these if you so choose. But I want to show you how to make your own kit. So when you scroll up to 51, now we're in the user section. Now this is where you could create your own drum kit. I'm going to go up to 52, and this is going to be uh, user kit number 52. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the drums. There's all sorts of drums you could do you choose from. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit function, and I'm going to go down to the number one pad. It'll say instrument in the lower right corner. I'm going to click on that. Now you just see it change to 1.06. Now you could refer to your manual and when you're in the one section these are all kick drums. So now I'm going to change the, the kick. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the snare. I'm going to hit the snare button. Now we could choose a snare. Same thing with the hi-hat, I'm going to choose a hi-hat, open hi-hat, crash, uh, I have clap set up on this one, you can change it to a block, we'll use the claps for now, cowbell, and now these are seven pads right here but you have seven more what you do is you click this pad bank and now you switched over you'll see the red light is lit now we have more drums that we could use these are toms a shaker you see I'm changing it we're in the congas so let's say I'm satisfied with this drum kit Okay, and we're ready to record a song. I'm gonna click tempo. Oh, I gotta get out of kit first. So you won't let you do anything if you're in kit. So go back to pattern, get out of the kit section, click tempo, and set it to 120. Okay. Um, let me also set the bar length. Let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna hit function. We're going to hit the number 5 pad, it says bar length. Now we could change the length of the bar. So that's 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar, 4 bar. We're going to go for 2 bars. Okay. Um, let me just show you also how to do the pad sensitivity. We're going to go back to kit. We're going to hit function. 
I'm going to hit this number six pad and in the lower right corner you'll see pad sensitivity. So when you're recording the drum, see this is a, that's normal. But if you want a lighter touch, you go to soft. So you don't have to worry about how much force you're using on the pad. If you want to see uh, um, how soft I'm hitting it, now I'm using a lot of force. So that's extra hard, but we're just going to use normal. All right, I think I showed you everything I have to show you to uh, get to the point where, to where we're going to record a pattern. Okay, let's get to recording a pattern. We're going to do something real simple. I'm going to start off by clicking the record button, then the play button. We'll get a pre-count, and then we're off to the races. All right, we're in record mode now. I'm going to wait till the, to the top to get to the one. All right, so let's, let's add some congas and wait till we get to the one. All right, so let's listen back. All right, let's say I don't like that. I want to start over. What we're going to do is we're going to click erase. It'll flash, click it again, and now we're empty. All right, so let's go back and record another pattern. Let's do a better job of it. Here we go. Okay, let's listen back. All right, now let's say we don't like the levels. Let's adjust the levels of each drum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna click kit, function, and then level. All right, so play, kit, function, level. So now I'm going to adjust each particular drum. Snare's kind of loud, so I'm going to click snare. See it's at level 10. I'm going to drop it. Now I'm going to hit function. Uh, I'm sorry, pad bank. Let's adjust these uh, congas. See, it's at level two. I'm going to raise it. All right, and let's say I'm satisfied with that. Let's listen back. Now let's say I'm not satisfied with this snare. I really don't like the sound of that snare. Let's change it. So I'm going to hit play, kit, function, instrument. Now I'm going to hit the snare button. I'm going to change the snare on the fly. change the kick too. All right. So let's say I'm satisfied with that. Now let's create a pattern to complement that. Let's say an A section and a B section. So we're going to go to a new uh, pattern. Use the 31. It's empty. And we're going to create this pattern to uh, to act as a chorus section. 
Okay, so here we go. Record, play. Get some congas. Okay, let's listen back. I think this this crash needs to be a little louder, so let's hit kit, function, level. Do that five. Um, wasn't satisfied with that conga. That's a little loud, so let's lower that. Function, level, pad. All right, so let's go with that. So we have two basic patterns we're gonna use. Pattern user 30, which is this. And then user 31, which is this. Okay, so now let's create a song. Now I'm going to show you how to incorporate what we just did, which is user 30 pattern and use a 31 pattern into a song. All right, now to create a song, we have to be in the song section. Right, so we're gonna click song, and we'll see song number one is empty. So that's good. We're gonna create the song right here. Now, to do that, I put it down on paper to show you what it's gonna look like because this could fool you a little bit. This screen could fool you a little bit because you got to keep track of what you're doing. So on a notebook, I wrote out what it's going to look like. Okay, so number one is going to be user 30. Number two is going to be user 30. Number three, 30. Four is going to be 30. Then we're going to switch to the chorus. I'm going to switch to user pattern 31. We'll do that four times. And then we're going to go back to the verse. I'm going to do that four times and you'll see what I'm talking about right here. I just want to let you visualize it on paper first. Okay, so now to create a song, we're in the song mode. We're empty on pattern one and we're going to click the record button. And you'll see pattern one come up. Now we have to choose the pattern we want. So on paper as you see we want user 30 so we have to go up to user 30 okay so user 30 and we want that four times so it's in there once click record it's going to be in there twice now we're up to three and four so now we have the verse done. Now we're up to the chorus. So now we want to switch to user 31. So number five is going to be user pad of 31. We're going to do it four times. Click the record button. 31. Click the record button. 31. And 31. So now the chorus is done. Now we want to go back to another verse. So now we got to go back to 30. So that's 31. We want to use the negative button to 30. Negative button down to 30. Negative button down to 30. And then negative down to 30. And then the song is done. So we press stop. And now the song is recorded. So let's listen back. Switch to two, three, 
three, four. Now it's gonna go to the chorus section. Let's go back to the verse. It's going to end. And that was an abrupt ending. So let's say we don't want an abrupt ending. We want it to end on a crash. So what I'll do is I'll go back to pattern. I'll go to 32, which is empty. And now we're just going to do a crash ending. All right, so here's the ending. All right, so that's the ending we're going to use. So now we have to go back to the song. So we're going to click on song, right? And hit the record button and we're just going to keep clicking the record button until we get to the end of the song okay now I am going to add that last crash so that's going to be pattern 32 I'll click the record button again and now the song is complete so now we're going to listen back you're going to hear the section I just added which is the ending and that's just the crash. Now we're going to go to the chorus. Going back to the verse. Okay, here comes the ending we just added. Okay, so that, and that's a real simple example. You, you could take this way out there. I mean, you could create full songs you just have to get to know the machine. So this should get you started in learning how to use the machine. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of more things right now. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about the quantize button. Quantization refers to the degree of detail with which notes are recorded that's straight from the manual. Basically, it's the feel of how you're playing. Okay, so right now we're in pattern. I'm going to hit function. I'm going to hit quantize. And you see it says 16. That's a 16th note feel. Okay, that's where we're, we're at. Now I'm going to try to record a shuffle pattern, this a blues shuffle pattern. And it's going to sound totally wrong, but I'm going to do that on purpose. So I could show you how quantize comes into play. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to play that back. It sounds terrible. It's totally wrong. It sounds like a really bad drummer, right? Okay, so I'm going to erase this. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to hit Function. I'm going to hit Quantize. I'm going to drop it down to 12, and that's going to be an eighth triplet note feel, which is where we want to be. Now we're going to try it again. Now let's listen back. And that's where you want to be. So that's how quantization comes into play. That's when you want to use your quantize button. If you're having trouble finding the right feel, 
you probably need to mess with the quantize button. But for the most part, if you're playing straight rock or straight hip hop, what you want to do is you want to keep it usually around 16. That's where you want it. 